Okay, suppose we're asked to solve this fourth degree equation. First of all, I want you to know it by name. A fourth degree equation is called quartic, just like a quadratic is, I mean, degree two is quadratic, degree three is cubic, degree four is quartic. So we know we're going to have at most four uh, real solutions to this equation. Okay. When I'm solving a quartic equation, I can't use the quadratic formula because that's only for degree two. So why don't we try to write this in standard form, okay? This is, this, this is standard form. And then let's try to apply the zero factor property. So I have standard form, that's the Z, standard form equals zero. Let's try factoring this. And remember people, if this does not factor, a way that you could solve this would be to go to your calculator, type this function in right here and find it, oops, sorry, and find its zeros. And then you could at least approximate the answers if not get exact. But here, We know we have an x squared in the front of each. And if I want the back number to be a positive, it's got to be two negatives. And I need a 1 and a 3. If I want to check it, chin and grin it, negative 1x squared minus 3x squared is negative 4x squared. Okay? And I can keep factoring the front one. x plus 1, x minus 1 x squared minus 3 is prime. It does not factor. So I've basically factored as much as I can, and this is set equal to 0. So I'm going to set up three cases. To solve this equation, either x plus 1 is 0, or x minus 1 is 0, or x squared minus 3 is 0. Okay? In the first case, x is a negative 1. There's one solution. In the second case, x is a positive one. And to solve this quadratic equation, we're going to apply the square root property. So the first thing I'm going to do is to move the constant over. x squared equals 3. And if blah blah squared equals a constant, then blah blah, which in this case is x, what do I do to the constant? I take the square root of it, and what do I put in front? Plus or minus. So look at how many roots I have to this equation. One, two, the positive one, and the negative one. So I have a total of four roots or four solutions. And they're all real numbers. This is real, this is real, and that's a, those are both real numbers. If you wanted to know more about them, you could approximate them on your calculator, but there's nothing about approximating here, so we're going to leave the answers exact.